Hey, it's David at PDF Automation Station. Today I'm going to show you how to create what I like to call a drop and drag PDF creator. And it'll just help you to uh, work a lot quicker. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new folder on my desktop. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call this PDF Output. And that's where all my PDFs are going to go when I use this system. So if you have Adobe Acrobat Professional or Pro DC, if you go to Start, Devices and Printers, you'll see Adobe PDF Printer. That's the one that gets installed when you have Acrobat Pro. I'm going to click here, Add a Printer. And I'm just going to wait a second till that comes up. And then I'll click Add a Local Printer. Then I'll change this radio button to New Port. And it says Adobe PDF Port Monitor. Next. Uh, want me to f connect this to a folder. You can use any folder. I'm going to use the one that I just created here called uh, PDF Output. Click OK. And I am going to click select the, the highest version here. And I'll just click Next. Use the driver that is currently installed. Next. And printer name. What do I want to call this? Um, how about uh, uh, PDF? Next, and share name, next, I'm not going to set it as my default printer, I'm just going to click finish. So here it is, right here, I'm going to make a shortcut to that, so create shortcut, and then you see it on the desktop. I'm going to get rid of the shortcut part of this and it just says PDF drag and drop. So what will happen is actually we got to set some preferences here. So right click printing preferences and view Adobe PDF results. I don't want that checked because it's going to open the PDF after I drag and drop it. I don't want that. I just want it to create it. And all this is good here. Ask to replace existing PDF file. I don't want to check that. If there's a file with the same name, I just want it to overwrite. But that'll be your preference. Now, the um, output folder. I'm going to click Browse and Desktop. And I'm going to use that PDF output. And I'll click apply and OK. So it should be ready to go now. Um, here's a Word document testing. So basically, when I want to convert something to a PDF, I'm just going to drop it into that, into here. And then when it's finished, it'll go into this folder. So I don't have to look. This is all that is in that Word doc. It just says testing. And PDF output, you see there's nothing in there because we just created that. So I'm ready to go. And this just this saves you all kinds of clicks and browsing. You know, you can create more than one of these if you want with different um, settings. So let's just drag that in there, the testing file. And you see the source program opening. So Word, you can do this with Excel or um, Publisher, any any type of file. So it shows that it's printing. It's probably already done. Not yet. And there it is. So that's it. You just drag files in there and then it creates PDFs. 
I think it's a time saver, but anyway, thanks for watching my video.